Good afternoon, uh, Infosect people. Um, I have an interesting little problem I found with the software while doing the security blue team training. Um, it's new uh, blue team uh, level one certification. The certification itself doesn't come out later uh, until later in the year. Uh, however, I'm currently working on it. I'll probably go over more in detail and depth in it later. However, it's got several training modules. The one I was working on was the threat header module, which basically goes over all of the different types uh, of threat threat hunting, um, goes over IOCs, file hunting, um, and it's a really good overview. Uh, and what I found while doing this this course is an issue uh, that re revolves around these two products um, from FireEye. So the IOC editor it is a free tool that provides an interface for managing data and manipulating the logical structure of IOCs, which IOCs are indicators of compromise that uh, can help you find known malware or in some cases unknown malware um, on your devices by using certain terms, uh, file size, uh, file name, size of it, the hashes. Uh, the editor allows you to create these IOCs. However, just creating IOCs helps when you're going to give to other companies to use the IOCs, use the other product called Redline. Uh, this is a free endpoint tool. It doesn't just use the it doesn't just use IOCs and scan for those. Um, you can also use it with uh, memory an analysis, uh, which is actually really cool. Um, but primarily what they go over is this last section right here where it says perform indicators of compromise and analysis. Um, so you create the IOC in the IOC editor, then you load it in the red line. However, there's a problem with that. Uh, let's see. So right here I have a the IOC editor and uh, one of the IOCs that I created. And in here, if you were to add a comma to these file sizes. Now, when you add these IOCs, there are tons of options here of what types of IOCs you want to add. Even some of them, like these network ones, which aren't um, necessarily host-based. Uh, process URR. There's a huge amount of stuff here. However, however, while doing the blue team security blue team training, I found a little issue when you add a comma. Now these boxes, you can basically just type whatever you want in each box. Uh, and after you do that, I'm gonna save. You go to red line, and you create a new IOC search collector. Uh, for, for indicators of compromise location, I'm going to choose a folder. Choose this folder to have the uh, IOC in. Choose next. Next scripts. Um, I'll make two changes here. One is I'm going to for strings. The other one. All right, so choose location, choose this one, and hit OK. And it creates the collector. Now the collector actually goes out and, and scans the uh, system to find the IOCs. Uh, so you have this folder. You double click the batch, elevate it, and Okay, looks like it ran. So go back to sessions. And you have this file here, which double click it, it's going to open Redline. Alright, and then you go to IOC reports. Click on the report. You notice there are no IOC matches. Hmm. Now if I close this. Okay, right, there you go. All right. So if you go back into 
the IOC editor. Um, click on the IOC, click on the file size, and remove the comma. You're going to do file save. And you're going to go back to the red line, create a search collector. And let's just the IOC folder again. Hit next. Edit the script. Hit strings. Um, show events parameters. And then I'm putting the folder in. Um, to make this scan quite a bit faster, otherwise it'll take about 15-20 uh, minutes. Okay, choose my output folder, which will be the same folder again. Okay, and then close that. Alright, so now it's created the collector. Run the collector. Open up the uh, IRC and Redline again, and again, just double click in the analyst, the analysis section will open it up. Choose that, choose that, and if you notice now, I actually have hits. All right, um, and yeah, and it, this is very frustrating. Now, this one's really quick, but if you want to do a whole computer. You would notice that instead of taking 15 20 minutes, it would actually open and immediately close. Um, and it just doesn't work right. I'm not sure if it's an actual a bug or a feature, but just be aware if you're using Redline, specifically in the file size, do not add the commas or other symbols, maybe, um, might cause your. Uh, running the collector might fail or will fail and you get no IOCs uh, when expecting it. It's another thing to know about uh, running your tools and understanding how they work and what your expected outcome is based on the expected input. Uh, and it's been, it was interesting. Uh, and then go check out the Security Blue Team training if you uh, want as well. Uh, they are not sponsoring this video. Um, it's quite interesting. I've not gone through it all, but maybe when I get through it, I'll do um, an overview of the whole uh, set of training at some point in the future.